Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about things I believed in as a kid. Now, a lot of kids these days, or even back then, would believe in a lot of things because either they have big imagination, gullible minds, or even when I was a kid, I'm sure there were smart, um, even smarter people, smarter kids than me when I was younger, who would even tell me that these things aren't real, you're just making these up. But I, I could tell you right now, all these things I believed in as a kid, I thought that they were real because everybody's got a big imagination, including smart kids who, who thought that, who really think that these things weren't real. So the first thing on my list is that Santa Claus, Tooth Fairy, Easter Bunny, all of them aren't real or are real, excuse me. I used to believe every single thing of those people existed, people, beings, whatever they were. And almost any kid would have believed in that because Santa Claus, the story of Santa Claus, Tooth Fairy, and Easter Bunny was spread throughout the ages and all to the little children's minds, making them think, oh, Santa's going to come, the Easter Bunny's going to come, the Tooth Fairy's going to give me money. Like, why would a little kid need money for a missing tooth? Like, it don't make any sense to me now as an adult. I remember when I was a kid and I knew something wasn't right. I knew something was off about the tooth fairy when I felt my mom dug her hand underneath my pillow to swap the tooth with money. And I immediately knew that the tooth fairy was fake. But Santa Claus, I think I found out that Santa Claus wasn't real maybe later on when I was like 12 maybe younger. I'm not sure when I found out that Santa wasn't real. I think, I'm not sure if I was the last person in my family to find out Santa wasn't real. But then later, as I got older, I realized the Easter Bunny wasn't real. I feel like the Easter Bunny thing would have just been for like five-year-olds. And then as soon as you got like older, over um to almost 10 years old, you'd be like, oh, Easter Bunny's not real. Because I feel like some of these holidays were just for kids, like Valentine's Day, Easter, except for Christmas. No, Christmas is for a lot of people who like to celebrate it. And I, I enjoyed Christmas um, last year, by the way. It was really fun. Anyway, the next thing that I used to believe in as a kid was the world before I was born was black and white. I always thought that everything back in the day was black and white, like actual black and white. Not how, because that's how I saw black and white movies. I was like, oh, that's how, that must have been how the world used to be. Like no color, no saturation, no contrast, no nothing. Everything was just bland. But that's not true, actually. I came to found out that Black and white movies was all they ever had. They didn't have any color, anything color until later on, until like early 70s, late 60s, maybe. So that's when they ended up developing movies and TV shows in color. Black and white was just all they ever had for TV shows and movies back in the day. Next up, oh, I don't know if anyone would believe this next one that I'm about to say because for some reason I kind of believed it. I'm not sure what, but worms will grow inside of you if you eat your boogers. Ugh, uh, ugh that kind of make me want to gag. Like, I'm not even j exaggerating. That's like, that sounds, gr I don't even know if I made this up as a kid or if someone next to me told me this, but I vividly remember this little thing and I kind of believed it. Because, you know, kids would all would all, would pick their nose a lot and sometimes eat them. And uh, I was one of those kids. So I guess worms are growing inside my stomach now. <laughs> no, that's not true. Thank God. Because if they did, I, I would probably, I would just die slowly. A bunch of parasites flowing in my stomach. Ugh, that would be so gross. Anyway, next one. Um, you'll go blind if you sit too close to the TV or computer. Oh my God. I, my dad would tell me this all the time. Like, hey, don't sit too close to the TV. Get away from that computer. You'll blind yourself. And that is not true. That I don't understand why my dad would tell me this. Like, 
it will not make you blind. I mean, it, it, it really won't. You just, it just won't give you, um, everything will just be too close for you to see. You just, it's just, it's just better for you if you just sit back or a little bit. It won't make you blind. It's just, if you sit too close, you won't be able to see everything that's going to happen on the TV. Like if you're watching like a good movie or something and you sit too close, you'll be seeing everything like very, very closely. You won't be able to see the whole picture is what I'm trying to say. It's not that I believe in the thing that the TV will make you go blind if you sit too close to it. Hell no. Uh-uh. It's just I don't know what, um, why my dad ever told me that. He told me that a lot when I was a kid. And the last thing that I used to believe in as a kid is the actors or cartoon characters lived inside of the TV. And that's what I've always thought about watching TV as a kid. I was like, huh, every time, does, every time the TV turned off or whenever a new show comes on, do they just live inside of the TV? But no, it's just not true. It's just whatever show they air on. It's just like, it's a satellite. Everything's connected. It's not just cartoon characters and all of that is just fictional and they don't live in a TV. It's just, it's just a fake computer programming or televisional programming that entertains children pretty much. And they don't live in the TV. Well, you could kind of say they live in the TV because, you know, if you... If you turn on the TV, you're like, oh, this is a good show. I'm going to watch it. And they just go along and around the TV and stuff like that. Let me know down in the comments below what you used to believe in as a kid because I'm quite interested. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.